just as a quick little recap. This is where I left you last time. Buckle up, they won't look like this in the end. <laughs> So, this month's big girl journey started with me removing Jasmine's hat. <laughs> Finally. I couldn't put it off any longer. <laughs> and so, I finally had to do it to get access to the hair. To remove it. Gosh, that was so awful. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> We started off quite simple, like we would with every other doll, by cutting off the hair. And there the similarities ended. <laughs> because of the size of the hat, of course my tweezers weren't able to reach all to the plugs. So I had to come up with something else to unplug the plugs, and first I used a sanding thing <laughs> staff piece which wasn't doing anything and then I tried it with um, a screwdriver and that didn't do that much either so I had no other choice but don't tell my brother I stole his hair clipper <laughs> I burrowed it and I made uh, cleaned it afterwards to get the hair as short as possible, but oh, yeah. And then I was able to do a little bit of stuff with the screwdriver, but still not enough. And yeah, in the end. The only solution was to get some tweezers and, yeah, basically pick every pluck on its own until her hat was bald. <laughs> Not a lot of fun, I tell you that. To change things up a little bit, we now had something that was quite easy. <laughs> Removing her makeup, or her face. Um, there was uh, one thing I tried to avoid, and that is getting rid of the black colored skull or hat, you know what I mean, because I want to give her black hair as well, and she is more partially rooted than fully rooted, um, and I was not planning to. <laughs> give her that many more plucks because I was not sure if the hair will be enough. So I gave her some more in the end but I kept the black paint just to cover up that she still is partially bold. Just putting it out there. But I have to admit it was a good thing to not root more hair into her than I already did. Speaking of the reroot part, I broke, I think, nine or ten needles. <laughs> I had to go out and buy new ones because the ones I had were breaking like crazy and I already ran through a lot of them. But I bought sturdier ones and they kept breaking as well. And, yeah, I used nearly all of the, um, uh, of the hair that I bought. It, w it was a mess. I had hair everywhere. I was rooting for, I think, two days or three. I'm not sure anymore. I did nothing else for two or three days than plugging hair into that freaking hat. <laughs> I am... I know that I have to do the same with Blondie. Not looking forward to that. I tell you. But hey, 
Rooting a far too large doll head is something that gives you something to talk about with your neighbors. <laughs> I was sitting outdoor and of course my neighbors and their two, uh, two daughters came along and uh, let's say the younger one was a bit creeped out, the older one was fairly interested. <laughs> so, yeah, it was an interesting experience. <laughs> and every time I was done with rooting one part of the head or the strength of hair that I just had loosened from the bulk, I then took some glue and put it onto a wooden spatula <laughs> and tried to glue all of the uh, plugs in place and then I leave, left that to dry and after that was dry I braided each section. <laughs> and then I braided every three, three sections together and I had a very interesting braid in the end. But anyway. That was my attempt of giving her a reroute that was first of all not messy and second of all as secure as possible. And still, I have to put some glue in there and shake her head around um, because there were some strengths, some plugs that were not coded. How dare they? Them. Don't know. <laughs> you maybe have noticed the two black stains that are on her face. I'm convinced that her former owner gave her some uh, eyeliner or some wings with a marker. <laughs> so finally it was time to try out the hack with using pimple cream with Benzoyl peroxide. I think I sound as, uh, like a drunk person, but doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I I took some sticky tape, glued some uh, or taped some cling film onto her face, and then I put the uh, pimple cream on there. It did work. Don't get me wrong, I think it is quite a good method, uh, but it took forever. <laughs> it was a ton of removing the pimple green, putting some new on there, just to have it as fresh as possible. And finally on day 14 I was at a point where I thought, I haven't done anything on her for 14 days. We need to do something again. So the stains are nearly gone. I left her for 12 more days, I think. So in the end, we were rid of the stains and I was able to straighten her hair. <laughs> What an adventure! While I straightened her hair, <laughs> I then found out that, especially on the crown of the hat, there are some strengths that said goodbye. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a second thing, it was totally worth straightening, uh, straightening the hair and I'm completely fine with using the braiding hair. It was quite soft in the end, it looked quite pretty in the end, but boy, that took an awful lot of time to straighten. I think I sat there for two and a half hours or longer, I, I'm not sure, two, two and a half or three hours I was sitting there straightening one strand after the other just to get her frickin' hair to be straight. Because the braiding hair has this texture in itself and I wanted to get rid of that and it, it, it took forever. 
was quite a nice meditation. Exercise. <laughs> I have to admit, the more hair I was... or oh, I had straightened, the more I was convinced that I did the right thing in a lot of things. First of all, using the braiding hair, because when it's still in its slightly uh, scriggly shape that it has for braiding, um, it looks not so nice. As soon as it was straightened, it was maybe not as soft as nylon doll hair, but still soft enough and had a nice sheen and gloss to it and I'm quite happy that I did not went all out and bought doll hair for this. <laughs> um, and I'm fine with just having two packages because otherwise I think her hair would have gotten far too much, far too full. Because when I braid this it's already quite the heavy and thick braid. So everything is fine. And because I was staring at her face for all that time, every time I put the pimple cream on and while yeah, doing stuff with her, I decided I need to close her lips. I never liked, or I don't really like the toothy smiling dolls. And yeah, I didn't like it with her either. And so I gave her a little lip injection. <laughs> closed her mouth, by the way, and after that was dried, I of course used epoxy clay. Yeah, after that I had to mix up the right color to have it blend into her face because <laughs> while it still was this grayish, whitish color, it looked completely awful. <laughs> And I thought, even if I give her some l other lip color, in the end, I want it to look nice while she is just sitting there. So I mixed up a color that was as similar as possible to her skin tone and just painted her lips to the, uh, so they would match. On day 26 of my pimple cream adventures, she was finally done. <laughs> the stains were removed and I was able to remove all of the, um, yeah, rest thing, goo, glue that was on her face with some acetone again and then she was completely clean and I thought, okay, her head is prepared, now let's go over to the bodies. <laughs> and I had to clean them. And if you had told me that one day I would sit in my bathroom with a camera on my bathtub, one of my studio lights behind me putting two children sized dolls into the bathtub to clean them <laughs> yeah never thought that that was something i would first of all record and second of all put on the internet for everyone to see strange thing but <laughs> I scrubbed both of them with a, a dish scrubber, dish brush, you know what I mean, I hope you know what I mean. And uh, then I dried them and had to put them upside down because <laughs> they were completely filled with water at that point and uh, the head of Blondie came loose while I was washing her. her. So. Um, yeah, what can I say? I had two heads in my living room and the two bodies were laying in my bathtub. When my brother came home, I told him not to be shocked that there are two naked girls in the bathtub. 
are things you can say when you are a doll customizer. As Blondie already had decided to lose her head in the bathtub, I decided, then let's remove your hair and your face. And so I started cutting away her lovely locks, <laughs> dreadlocks, whatever. And um, there were two things I noticed. First of all, when chopping away her hair, damn it, that girl is rooted. <laughs> there is not a lot of space left where she does not have her hair, which was very surprising for me. And I looked at their necks and the uh, Jasmine doll was made by Simba toys, which are the same that make the uh, Steffi Love dolls. I think you know them quite frequently, even in America and somewhere else in the world. Um, and this girl was made by Arias, Arias, whatever. It's a doll company. Uh, from Spain and I looked them up they mainly make reborn dolls nowadays but as you see she has or she had quite the amount of hair <laughs> and then I removed her face her makeup and I already said I think they were not that nice to her when it comes to the eyes and I still stand on that because I think the face sculpt is fairly pretty and I hope I am not going to mess it up when I do something with her because I really like her sculpt. What surprises me the most is she has slightly open lips as well but on her I think it looks nice. It's not that wide of an opening and so it looks more natural and I think that is what normally throws me off on Barbies or on the Jasmine doll. It looks so forced. <laughs> and I think on her it looks very nice. So I guess she is not going to get a lip filler. Ta-ta! In the end, I had to notice that Blondie had a similar problem to Jasmine, which was a shadow from her eyeliner <laughs> staying on. And um, because on her it is the whole eye, I'm not sure if the former owner did give her some bigger uh, eyeliner or if that is from the uh, manufacturing per process I don't know but yeah she's getting the pink the pimple cream treatment as well I guess I will skip that in the next video because it already took some time and isn't lightening up that much so um, I think I will uh, not show you all the pimple cream thing uh, stuff again in the next video. But with that, our update on my two big girls comes to an end. I hope you did enjoy this at least a little bit and we will see us in another video. Until then and have a great time. Bye.